Hi, Sarah Levin, the Artful Linker here, and today I have been playing with the Picture Perfect stamp set that's in the 2016 Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog, and I've been using the Hummingbird stamps. There are a set of four of those, and they do come numbered on the sheet. Um, so that you know one, two, three, and four. And what I have done is mounted them. I've got one here, two, three, and then four on the back side of my block. So let me show you um, my first two tries with this stamp set. The first one I'm using Lost Lagoon and Calypso Coral. And then this one I have used Old Olive and Calypso Coral. My color combinations have to do with a color challenge that I'm participating in today. And then let me show you what I finally ended up with on my card. It's Old Olive, Lost Lagoon, and Calypso Coral. And I think I have some tips for you on how to use this. So hold on tight and let me pull my things together. So I'm stamping on a piece of Very Vanilla and I'm going to stamp number one in Lost Lagoon. Now each of the stamps has a little tab at the top of their head so that each time you stamp you'll want to keep that tab pointed in the same direction. It does aid a little bit in um, lining things up. Now I'm going to stamp off and I'm going to stamp off the Lost Lagoon pretty hard. And then we're going to come over here. Now I have to remember to leave room for the beak, which is long. Okay, so here's my bottom layer. And then instead of using the throat as number three, I'm going to use it as number two because you get a really clear outline here of where it goes. So let me just set that on here and ink it up and then I'm going to come right down in here and match the shape with the hole there and then my last two I'm going to do in Old Olive. So here's number three off by himself and again, I'm going to stamp off pretty hard. I just want a little bit of green. So my initial tries, I had been trying to line up the eye here and the tab. And what I found easier, let me see if I can zoom in here with this and show you. I'm going to line up the feathers instead. Lots of little grooves there. Okay, and lay it over. And then my last one with the beak. This one I'll do in full strength. And I'm inking up here. And again, I'm going to come right down here to line up the feathers. And give that just a little bit of a twist here. Okay. And press. So, looks pretty good, right? So, that's my tip. Take your first color, whatever it is, and stamp off. Take the second piece of the bird and stamp off lightly. Use the throat as stamp number two instead of number three. And then finish full strength with the piece that contains the beak, which is number four. And one lovely thing is these were stamped exactly the same and I love that they have that individual quality that handmade things do so that they're just a little bit different. Thanks for stopping by today. I hope this tip for using Picture Perfect, the hummingbird, uh, you'll find that helpful. You can find links to all of the products that were used today in the description below the video. Subscribe to the my YouTube channel and then hop on over to my blog and see what else I'm sharing. Bye. Have a great day.